What's going on guys? Got the Atlas Molly plate carrier by LA Police Gear. I'll have this one linked down there in the description box down below if you want to get a look get a good look at it. And if you act fast, these are on sale currently for right around $79, somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that, but it's pretty close to that, which is an excellent deal for this feature packed uh, plate carrier. Now this is your, again, Molly plate carrier. I have it decked out right now and you can see other shots of it with it bald with nothing attached to it. And you can see you have the laser cut Molly webbing on the bottom and your standard Molly cut on the top with the Velcro uh, loop attached to the molly itself. So you can attach all of your favorite little uh, morale patches and all that stuff that you want to do up top. Now again, this plate carrier is packed full of features. We're going to do my best to go over all of them for you guys so you can get a really good detailed look at it. But right away, this holds your 10 by 12 plates on the front and back. And I have the curved LA Police Gear uh, level four in there right now, which we'll go over in a separate video. This video is more angled towards this carrier itself. So you get the, again, of course, you can fit the 10 by 12 plates in the front and the back. And it also has a removable adjustable cummerbund that does have the laser cut molly webbing on the sides as well. You can fit the six by six plates on the sides of the plate carrier itself. Again, this this cummerbund is actually removable and adjustable. So if you didn't want to run the cummerbund, you can totally get it, do away with that. Say if you're running this on a more uh, day where you want to feel more lightweight. As soon as you take this thing off, you definitely do notice it is a lot more nimble, uh, but you do lose a lot of your molly on the side and you have to work with certain connection points, which again, we'll go over here in just a second. Again, packed full of features on the top on the shoulder straps right here. You can see they are padded and adjustable. This is good for skinny people such as myself and my anorexic frame and my buddy's body who is built just a little bit bigger than your average person. Uh, you can see it does work out fairly well for both of us. Getting in and out of this thing is very nice and easy because of the buckles on the shoulder straps right here allow you to quickly get out of this thing really quick and of course if you're running the cummerbund you can just lift up the velcro on the front and it exposes the cummerbund itself which you can detach and just get yourself out that way if you're not running the cummerbund you have the optional buckles on the side that allow you to quickly adjust and quietly get in and out of this plate carrier so if you're wanting to remain a little more quiet of course you would just do away with the cummerbund because it is definitely not the most quiet thing in the world, <laughs> for sure, with all of that Velcro to work with. However, it is quickly adjustable and very comfortable running it with the cummerbund or running without. Again, the only thing I did notice with running the buckles on the side is that you, I had to personally adjust them a certain way, which I reversed them from the way they came from the factory to allow me to buckle this a lot easier. Uh, now that of course changes which way you have to pull forward for the straps to tighten up on the side, or back for the straps to tighten up on the side. And that's just kind of personal preference for me, but the options are there if you wanted to completely do away with those, or if you wanted to just run the cummerbund, or if you wanted to run just those on the side, it makes for, again, getting in and out of the plate carrier fairly quiet and fairly easily. You can just throw this thing right over the top of your head with those two buckles, and you just have the one side buckle to worry about, or again, if you're running the cummerbund on the side, you can just simply have one cummerbund open and strap that right there to the front of the pack. Go over some of the stuff on the back of the pack here. You can see for the extra lashing for, again, people like myself who are built quite anorexic, we can hula hoop through a Cheerio. We have all of this extra lashing right here on the top. So that is very nice to be able to store that away on these uh, loops on the back here. Some of the features on the back here, you can see all of the molly webbing, the uh, laser cut molly webbing on the back. Again, with the cummerbund, if you're running that, you have all of that option on the side. And you do have a nice Velcroed to the top. Uh, nice little grab handle right here. And uh, looking at this, all of these stitchings are reinforced in the areas that you would want them to be. And on this, this material, if I didn't mention, is made of 500 Cordura. So it is a very stout material, uh, very lightweight actually, for being that it's 500D. Um, so not, it's not gonna be too heavy, but it is bar tacked and reinforced in all of these areas that you would expect it to be in to be able to carry things as heavy as plates or uh, ammo and mags and whatever you're gonna attach to this thing. Uh, it's nice to see that they bar tack double stitch and ran over a couple of times where the reinforcement needed to be. So what you're getting out of this pack, if you're really, if you're not catching on yet, this thing is really packed full of features, full, full of quality and all the way around is just well well designed in my opinion. I mean, just even right down to the, just the side plates. Take note of this cummerbund 
on the side right here. If you're not running the plates in there, you can actually run this as a admin pocket or something small that you can slip inside of there with this little simplistic little thing right here that they added into it that you can attach the uh, flap to. Now, of course, if you were wearing this, you wouldn't be able to open this flap on your side as you have this pack on, or if you have, as you have this carrier on. But adding on this little extension right here allows this to stick up to your side and you can easily open that up and access whatever materials or contents that you have inside of that pocket. So very well thought out uh, little carrier. And you can see again, all the nice stitching and webbing and everything is very reinforced, double stitched. I mean, the whole thing just reeks of quality and good design in my opinion. Um, so again, if you act fast on this, I don't know how long the sale will last, but I'll have that link down there in the description box down below. You can catch this thing on sale for a great deal for everything that you're getting in this plate carrier. I found this to be very comfortable. The padded shoulder straps were very nice as I ran around and did all the things that you do at a range when you're by yourself. Scorpion finger. So at first I was worried about the shoulder straps being a little too bulky uh, as they are padded up here. Now you can remove uh, the top padding, of course, if you're just not a fan of that being padded up there. I am personally a fan of it because I like to have a lot of stuff that is heavy <laughs> attached to my plate carrier, not just the plate carrier itself. So there's a lot of weight on here for me, so I like to have this pretty uh, padded up top because again, my anorexic body doesn't allow me to have a lot of muscle on the top. So I thought that that was going to be a little bit too bulky for shouldering up the rifle, but no matter what, what rifle and what length of pull I had on that firearm, I, I didn't have any problem at all shouldering it up to what this has extra, this buckle right here and all this other stuff and all this other material. Didn't find that to be too much of a problem, just a minor adjustment and knowing that, of course, this is adding somewhere around an inch of length of pull to your overall, whatever your rifle provides. And of course, on the shoulder straps as well, you do have these nice loops right here. So if you're running comms, you got a comm attached to the back, you got your wires run through, you can feed everything nicely so that it all stays nice and clean or even inside of the padded area so that no wires are exposed whatsoever and you can attach it to wherever you want on the front. So kind of nice and again, well thought out, well thought out and packed full of features. Um, you're getting obviously a great deal with this pack if you haven't noticed. So again, I found it to be very comfortable. Um, didn't have any issues with it at all. Ran one entire day with the cummerbund and just running around the range and doing what I do and ran the next day without the cummerbund and had just absolutely no, no problems at all. It does feel very much more lightweight without the cummerbund, as I mentioned. Uh, so that is, of course, to be expected. So the option to be able to run it like that is great. See that it's removable and it is adjustable. And for those of you that are wondering, the cummerbund, again, is adjustable. It starts out at 43 inches and can be adjusted out to 50 inches. So this is kind of a one size fits most is what this is. So you don't have to worry about trying to pick a size of what it is. So with an adjustable cummerbund from 43 to 50 inches, as well as the shoulder straps are adjustable to get this thing to fit exactly how you need it. So I think that's about all I got for you guys for right now. I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video on this one. I just wanted to get it out there because I noticed that they were on sale and it is, again, an excellent price. I'll have it linked down there in the description box down below. We will be going over these plates at a later video and I will be updating this at a later date to see how this thing is holding up. So if you don't have body armor or a plate carrier or anything like that, I don't see why because this is the perfect time to get into it because the overall design and prices and quality that are coming out of plate carriers manufacturers now is just insane. Look at just all of the options and well thought out design that you get for this for the amount of money that you're paying. It's just kind of a no brainer. Just go ahead and pick it up because there may come a day where you might not be able to buy one of these. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's all I got for you for right now. Of course, again, we'll have to do a follow-up video on all of this, but I hope you guys appreciate the information coming out of this video here. If it helped you out at all, if you can hit that like button down there and share it with your friends, share it on forums and help my channel and this video to grow. I appreciate you guys watching. Again, that link for LA Police Gear is linked down there in the description box down below. Um, I would jump on it right away, 
no questions asked. I mean, it's an excellent, excellent carrier. Again, packed with features, options, and quality. It's just a great overall design. Uh, big thumbs up from ZRUS. Good job, LA Police Gear. And we will catch you guys on the next video.